Yeah, each computer is different. Um, so each computer has different things it may need to start the refurbishing process. So stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna begin the refurbishing process. So each laptop is different and may need different refurbishing needs. So we're gonna start with the basics of what every laptop will start with. All right, so what we're gonna want is a power cord for your device. Make sure it's for your device. We're gonna want some 91% or higher alcohol or your suggested cleaner. Um, I prefer alcohol. There's other cleaners out there. Um, you're gonna want a rag, microfiber, preferably the other stuff may scratch. So I'd say go with the microfiber and um, some type of USB. So you can test all the USBs. Um, you could go one step further and test the HDMI. But, so, I'm gonna plug the cord in. Power's on. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna check the battery. Normally if the battery's charging, I have a little lightning bolt. And I see the lightning bolt, so I confirmed it is charging. So we're gonna let it charge for a little bit. All right, we're gonna wanna verify there's no accounts on here or anything like that. Um, I don't see any accounts. It's um, at the home page, uh, beginner page. So I'll go to guest. We're going to want to test all these buttons. So the easiest way to do this is just go in the search bar. If it, if it ain't open already, open the search bar and then just start typing in a row all the way down and verify at the top that they're typing backspace. So just delete them all tab. All right. Tab worked. Verify all the buttons are working. No sticky, nothing like that. Search bar, search work. Enter. Shift. I gotta make a shift. The easiest way to do that is make a couple capitals. Press Alt. Push Alt, Control, and Z. Verify that those buttons are working. On the other side. Down, up. To, to test the up and down button, There's a little game you can play. All right. So all the buttons are working. Now we're gonna wanna touch this test, the touch screen. Your model not be, may not be a touch screen, so you can skip this step if yours isn't, but mine is. So the touch is working. It's going to be a little bit hard 
to test it with the gloves, but we're going to try through it. I'd say just try to grab it at certain areas just to verify that everything is is working properly. Yes, it seems to be working properly. No glitching or anything. Now I do see Yeah, this computer is pretty much flawless. It needs a little bit thorough cleaning. But it looks pretty good. So let's try the USBs. This device has two USBs. You simply just plug in the USB. Alright, so the computer has detected the USB is working. We can pull out the USB. And then we can do the same with the other side. Your, your device have, may have more USBs than mine. My, my device has two USBs. Yours may have up to three to five. So just verify all of them are working. So the computer detected it. It's fully working. So now what we can do is we could pull a charge cord to see that if the battery has kept the charge. So let's do that. So, so the computer has not turned off, which is a good sign. That means the, the charger was doing the trick and the battery was getting some charge. So we could power this device off. Go ahead and get our alcohol, pour it on the rag. Make sure it's not too wet. I may have used a little bit too much there. Make sure it's just damp. And you wanna just wipe down the device. Let's start on the outside. Just get all the sticky stuff. Go ahead and open it up. Wipe the keyboard. Screen. There you go. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and let it power back on. All right. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to hold Escape, Refresh, and the power button. So Escape, Refresh power button and this is going to chrome this is going to power wash the device so it's going to factory reset everything it's going to set it to factory reset reset settings and your device will be new for a new customer so let's go ahead and push those buttons start with escape refresh power simply wait for the process So what we're gonna wanna do is press Control, Alt, D. Should You should be at this screen, press Enter. Let's wait for the next screen. Press the space bar once you see this screen. And go ahead and push Enter again. And that should be it for this process. So you can go ahead and wait for your device to start back up. And your computer should be factory reset. And this will be the end of the refurbishing process for this device for me. Um, there is more stuff you can get into. You can test the the headphone jack you could test the HDMI but overall that was a good test and this computer is ready to go thanks guys I do appreciate it stay tuned for more videos